Now, who's our first contestant this evening? Well, we have a very nice young man coming to the microphone, Mr. Howard, a Mr. Stewart. Oh, thank you. Mr. Stewart, and thank you for coming up. How are you this evening? Fine, thank you. Where are you from, would you care to tell us? Indiana, Pennsylvania. Indiana. Indiana, Pennsylvania? Well, make me a politician and call me influence. I think. <laughs> I, I used, I used, I used to work in that town. Yeah. Look out your crack of tonsils. No, Just that's right. Ignore I, I, I was a farmer in a candy factory. You, uh... You were a farmer in the candy factory? I used to milk chocolates. <laughs> All right, please. So, uh, so you're from Indiana, Pennsylvania, Mr. Stewart, is yes, that right? Yes, I am. Uh, strangely, I knew some people uh, that lived in Indiana. I knew a man by the name of Stewart that used to run a hardware store. Did you know him? No, uh, hardware store, yes. Yes, you knew him? Yes, I was related to him by marriage. Oh, you were? Uh, what, uh, brother-in-law or something? Well, I was my father. Oh, <laughs> gee, well, isn't that a coincidence? A blood relation. Blood relation. Yeah. Why don't you try to borrow some? I... <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Shelby. That's all right. Not at all. I see. You know, I thought your face looked familiar, Mr. Stewart. Right. So you're old Alec Stewart's son. That's right. Isn't that marvelous? Well, give Alec my regards the next time you see him, I will sure you? will. Yes, Thanks I'll appreciate that. It certainly is. What do you work at? Are you in the hardware business, Mr. Stewart? <laughs> what do you do? What I'm, do you work at? I'm an actor. I... Oh, an actor? Mm -hmm. You mean like... Uh, in the theater or the movies? Or? No, no, I, I, I work on the movies. Oh, yes? Have you ever made any pictures? <laughs> uh, yeah, a few. Uh, a few? Well, of all the blockheads. Mr. Howard, that's Jimmy Stewart. I know that. Alex Stewart's son. I know that. <laughs> no, he's well. No, he's father. Mr. Howard, everybody knows Jimmy Stewart. Certainly. I even know him. I've seen him in the movies. Sure. That's the fellow that says to the girl, I love you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Come to the Casbah. Wait a minute. Please come to the Casbah. You're wrong, Mr. Sheldon. Sure. You're thinking about Spencer Tracy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Certainly you've seen Jimmy Stewart in the movies, haven't you? I'm afraid not, Miss Smith. No, you see, I never go to the cinema. But he's not in the cinema. He's in the movies. <laughs> Jimmy, what in the world are you doing on this program? What in the world? You know, I was sort of wondering the same thing about you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Smith is just slumming, Mr. Stewart. Yeah. Well, uh... I, uh, I sort of saw a sign out the theater reading, uh, it pays to be ignorant, so I thought I'd come in and see how, how much it pays. <laughs> if it pays to be ignorant, I should clean up some dough around here. Tell me, have you heard this program in Hollywood, Mr. Stewart? Oh, yes, I have, and that's another reason why I stopped in. I wanted to see if, if uh, your board of experts had heads. I, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes, they have, yes. Why, how dare you, Mr. Stewart? How dare you, sir? How dare well, I'm you? I'm sorry. I Why, how dare you? Them. You padded cell, you straight jacket, you crossword puzzle, you jigsaw puzzle. Wait, what are you, what are you saying, Mr. McNaughton? I'm putting him in his place. Oh, all right. <laughs> Say, you know, I'm thinking about shipping out to Hollywood and going into pictures myself. Uh, I, what, what is that? I thought there was a law against shipping dope. Uh, oh, you're right. You're right. right. No, that's, no, that's all right. Mr. Howard isn't going with me. All right. Thank you. Say, Jimmy... I want to yeah. tell you that we're mighty proud of the great job you did with the Army Air Force. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Kate. Yes, yes, indeed, Jimmy. May I offer my congratulations? You know, I used to be in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. I flew a Burlington Zephyr. Burlington, Burlington Zephyr? That, that's a railroad train, isn't it? It is. Oh, no wonder I couldn't get it off the ground. <laughs> Is it true, Mr. Stewart, that some actors in Hollywood make $5,000 a week? $5,000 a week? Yeah. Sometimes I have to work all day for that. Ah, oh, please. 
Well, Mr. Stewart, it's needless for me to say that we are certainly honored by this visit, and I mean that sincerely. Well, Tom, I'm serious, too, when I say that this has been my favorite program. I made up my mind that when I got here the next time to New York, I was certainly going to see it. You know, Tom, you have a lot of, a lot of fans out on the coast, so keep up the good work because we all enjoy a good laugh out there and you fellas certainly hand them out. Well, that's yeah, wonderful, yeah. Jimmy, to tell us that. It's very encouraging. Now, Jimmy, will you reach into Johnny's cap and pick out a question, a question not a question, <laughs> uh, a question for us, please? And will you read the question if you don't mind? Just take your time and read it. Six and seven eighths. Six. <laughs> six, and, six and seven eighths? Wait a minute. Look, I, I'm very sorry. That's I, all right, Jimmy, but it's on a slip of paper there. Just a slip of paper. Oh, I see, I yeah. see. Just read the slip of paper if you don't mind. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, how, uh, how many families live in a four-family house? <laughs> how many families live in a four-family house? Eight, Mr. Howard, eight. Eight, eight. How do you figure eight families in a four-family house? Well, have you heard of the housing shortage, you dumb clock? Uh, please. Yeah, you said it. It used to be two cars in every garage. Now it's two families. All right, if you want to get technical, how many families are supposed to live in a four-family house? Is that better? Much better, Mr. Hard, much better. Well, what about the answer? What about the answer? I'll bet that's even better. Uh, sure. Please. <laughs> Mr. McNaughton, if I had your brains, I'd hang myself. Couldn't and you do a better job with a rope? Uh-uh, please. Now, we get back to the question. It's about houses. Oh, I have a house in the suburbs. Suburbs? What's that? That's French for it's a long bus ride. Oh. <laughs> yes, I, I, live in a very, I live in a very old mansion. It has stood for over 200 years. Nothing has been touched or altered. Nothing has been repaired or replaced or... You must have the same landlord I have. <laughs> where, where do you live, Miss Smith? Oh, I have an apartment. Yeah, I have hmm? I named my apartment Charlotte Arms after my mother. That's odd. I named my apartment Venus Arms. That's silly. Mm -hmm. Venus doesn't have any arms. I have no apartment. <laughs> oh. oh, my word. <laughs> oh, my word, Mr. Shelton, no apartment. No. Where, where do you live, oh, boy? Central Park South. Central Park. <laughs> Central Park, what's your address? 59th Street entrance, third bench to the left. <laughs> I say, tell, tell me, uh, tell me, Miss Smith, have you a large apartment? Well, I have six rooms, counting the baths. Uh, baths don't count. Uh, I was brought up differently. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Smith. Look, I'm here, remember? We have a question. You know, my Uncle Webfoot has a beautiful house. Boy, his bath is out of this world. Isn't that rather inconvenient on a cold night? <laughs> I'm warning you, Mr. McNaughton, my patience is wearing thin. Yeah, so is your hair. Okay. <laughs> the question is, how many families normally live in a poor family house? No kidding. I wish I could find a house. Why don't you buy a lot out my way and build? Is it a nice neighborhood? Oh, rather. Very exclusive. Well, I hope it's a nice street. I wouldn't want to spend $300 building a house and then have someone build a cheap one right next to me. Yeah. <laughs> $300. Three hundred dollars. Why, a man wanted three hundred dollars just to paint one room in my house. Well, isn't that expensive? Well, he said he had to scrape the old paint off, wash with turpentine, then get ready for a new coat. So what? I do that every night before I go to bed. Uh, I see. <laughs> Ken, please, will you step in here and give our good friend Mr. Stewart twenty-four dollars and seventy cents for helping us out? Certainly, Tom. And here you Jimmy, are, Mr. Stewart. that I might say. <laughs> That's why, right, James. That's right, James. You counted be because no mistakes are rectified after you leave the mic. <laughs> and that, that is all for you. No, it's not all for me. I, I got to play 10% of my agent. Ah, I see. Yeah. And Mr. Howard, I'd like to give Jimmy 202 Philip Morris cigarettes. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs>